So welcome to Squad is boy Jay and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Alright guys, so guess what? I'm gonna be giving you update that I've been giving you on the road. Yemen yeah, uh, journey with Jay part three basically. So I'm gonna be giving you guys another update on the road works that have been going on on the roadways between Golden Grove to Port Morant. Uh, you guys might get some some more footage uh, in the process as well but guys nonetheless I'm showing you all of the road work that has been taking place and I know that you guys are gonna enjoy this one just as much as you did the last one so join us on the next side guys let's go so you guys as I said before thank you for joining us again all right so we are on the main road traveling towards Arcada from Bowden and we are now going to be showing you guys a lot of the pieces of work and the cutting aways and the widening of the roads that have been taking place along this road thoroughfare. So stick and stay with us guys, we won't be doing a lot of narration in this one, but you guys get to see everything that we see. Alright, so just enjoy this one, just as much as you did the last one. You know what I find most interesting guys is the fact that persons who are from this area who probably are overseas or living in some other parts of the country when you come back to this area you won't be able to know where you are I guarantee you it's gonna look different guys because as you can see in this video it already look different right now this truck that is before me we are heading towards what we normally call Crockett Oh, and Crockett, by the way, is located in the Martha River area as well, guys. So, in some other videos, you'd have already mentioned Martha River. Crockett is in the vicinity of Martha River as well. Now another thing that caught my eyes guys is the fact that the workers are actually cutting a path into the hills. As you can see in my shot right now, there is a path that is cut into the hills. I believe that they are going to be cutting away all of this roadway guys in order to have some space uh, and while widening the road. So you guys are getting to see piping as well live in action. So there is a lot of work taking place along this turf here guys and believe me this is to help with the runoff water where the piping is concerned <laughs> but the cutting away of the hills is to widen the roads guys and it's different Mata River, Mata River looks significantly different in my opinion As far as I can tell though, when this roadway is fixed and completed guys, St. Thomas Roadways is going to be an extraordinary roadway, believe me. Over the years a lot of people have always criticized the bad roads in St. Thomas but we are happy as St. Thomas people for, for this upgrade and getting an uplift on our roadways, believe me. I for one am very very much satisfied and happy about this level of road work that is taking place guys, believe me. And if you know anything about St. Thomas Roads, you'd feel equally as happy as we are.
Yeah guys, so we are now approaching the Pleasant Hill area uh, Also an area called Winchester Yeah man, we are approaching Winchester right now And um, you know, the other day I was having a conversation with um, some Czech workers, local workers And they were saying to me that this is one of the best opportunities that they've ever had Because it is giving local people an opportunity of employment And guys, believe me a lot of the people from around this eastern side they really need work they need employment and this opportunity just gives them a boost you know how much families this is feeding right now just because the check workers are employing flagmen uh, they're employing men to dig out uh, certain trenches um, you know flag women as well on the roads you know so a lot of local people are getting an opportunity to put some good hard-earned cash in their pocket and what better way to do it than to have a legal form of employment you know in some areas people resort to crime and violence but you know having to check people in this area working on the roads enough people get work for the man the truck men them who carry the dirt and all of these things you know they get an opportunity also to you know use their trucks to do work so people are getting opportunities with this road development that is spanning from st thomas going straight back into portland guys if you like what you've seen so far thank you guys for stopping by and remember like subscribe comment tell a friend to tell a friend share it out guys yeah man thank you so much for the contributions that you've been giving on the last video and guys believe me it has been a success so far uh we are still on our way to 2000 subscribers guys so remember connect with the channel man let's grow together and until next time, Jay says, and we are out of air.